We'd like to interrupt this episode and let you know that our sponsor this week is us. If you want to see anything about cars, head over to TTC Cars and see things like this. Or for truck and SUVs, head over to the Texas Truck Channel for more stuff like this. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to TTC Cars, the sister channel of Texas Truck Channel where we do redneck things, and TTC <laughs> Cars where we do fast, fun car things. Craig. We don't do redneck things on this channel? Well. See y'all. <laughs> come back, come back. Oh, come oh, back, come oh back, sorry. Come back, come back. <laughs> We've got some horsepower today, and it is the Civic Type Freaking R. Goodness, I'm excited about this. We've been trying to drive this for a while. It's been out of fleet. Thank goodness it's here. And secret, we've been driving on the track all weekend. It's been a good thing. Come around. This one is in white, which is, I think, the best color for this car gray don't do gray let it stand out do the circuit white and get the red calipers to pop yes. we'll get to the nose in a minute let's start where it matters oh man you see that that's a red brimbo as red it should be with white lettering is how it should be brands don't put your logo on there don't put your track pack name on there some nonsense we know it's a brimbo red with white lettering brimbos are the best color combo on any other car don't make it silly do you know what right. i do on my uh, brake calipers on my non-brimbos what's that i paint them red and then a stencil brimbo on <laughs> <laughs> that can be done too. That's halfway there, let's be honest. All right, the rotors themselves, they're two-piece. For those that don't know, I wanna explain this a little bit. It's all about cooling capacity. The hat being a different material than the actual rotor itself allows for expansion and contraction better and also allows heat to escape the rotor. That's, that's what matters. And you're, you're gonna pick up on a theme through this video. Cooling and thermal capacity are gonna be the theme. That's one of them. The wheels, Craig, what's new here? Oh, they're smaller. That's right. These are 19s instead of last year's 20s, and it rides and handles better because of it. So size doesn't always matter. It does matter. Get the right size, not the That's figures not I, always better is what you mean. That's what I keep saying. We're, anyways, <laughs> these are Michelin Pilot Sport, Sport 4S's, and look, they've been cooked on the track. We'll see how they do on the street in a minute in our 060 run, but they've been great in that use, and they're quiet, and they're just a good tire all around. Back to the nose. We have a new face because we have the 11th Gen Civic here. It doesn't look like a teenager drew it. It looks like an adult took the homework and cleaned it up. And you can actually be seen as a professional in the world of life and go to your office and not be ridiculed by everyone else around you. Thank you, adult. Thank you, adult. Still has a giant wing on the back. Hasn't lost all of its fun. That's the good news. Come on down here. You know what that means? Oh, it means it's fast. It means we're not screwing around here. That's red Honda, not a black Honda. That means it's Type R. And Type R is, think of... Shelby, GT500, Cobra World, that's what it is for Honda in that regard. SS for Chevy, M for BMW, Type R is it. You Honda boys know what I'm talking about. S for Acura? For sure. All right, look at this nose. See how big this opening is? Yes. All about cooling capacity. See this nose opening right here? Yes. Also about cooling capacity. See this vent right here? Not fake. That has a heat extractor to get all that heat back out of this thing. And look, last year's model, the EK8, had a ton of vents that didn't do diddly. <laughs> These all do them. They do something here and they are there for a purpose. They look better because of it. Let's go around. See that there? Yes. The mirror, we got them. You see this down here? Yep. Side skirt with air treatments, we got them. See right there? Air curtain coming off the front row, uh, wheel, we got them. Three to the back. Most important thing on the car? Yes. Fuel door check. See it? Dad, gum it. What? A, oh, must Honda. Be a, must be a Japan thing. It must be. Look, capitalist. Copy your American counterparts. Put a capitalist system. But it's okay. Half credit, it's got a holder for it. It doesn't just dangle around at the gas pump. Come here, I'm gonna show you one more thing. You don't want to just dangle around. Don't dangle around. 91 recommended, 87 minimum. Very interesting. Dear forums and Facebook groups. This is a public service announcement. Running 87 octane in your premium fuel car will, will blow not, it up. No. Oh. No, incorrect. Will not harm anything. This has what's called a wideband oxygen sensor in the exhaust. Anything in the last 10 years just about has that. If you put, if you get stuck in Colorado, put 85 in this, it'll be fine. If you floor it, you know what's going to happen? It's going to be slow. It's going to pull timing and keep itself safe, and that's it. If you put 91 or 93, it's going to make even more power. That's the benefit. That's really what's going on there. Last piece of exterior goodness. We ain't got, messing around back here either, bro. I uh, know. Times three, they got it figured out. And look, that's just cool. I want to give some major credit here. Yes, it's got a diffuser, blah, 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 blah. Triple exhaust or any kind of center port exhaust is just cool. Keep that up. That's a really good feature here. The downside is putting like a bike rack trailer hitch is going to be nearly impossible. And also you can't do a rear mount one because you've got this giant wing right here. So look, it don't matter. It's a hatch, put the bike inside of it. This is so cool and so active and works. 
Look at the standoffs. They're Dude, you can mount maybe a bike metal. to this. Maybe just put the bike on here. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out the engine. Oh, we got our, whoa, found the spot. Here we go. This is the two liter turbo made in Ohio, Honda. Wait, what? What? Yep. I thought it was made in Japan. No, the car's made in Japan. The engine's made from Ohio. Look, usually we review Honda things, or not Honda things, Ohio things, and we kind of go, yeah, it's kind of like Ohio. It's fine. This Ooh. might be the best thing ever from Ohio. I think it might be because it's got red on top. That's what matters. Yes. No, seriously, this is a good power plant. It's very boost happy. And it's the first VTEC product to have boost. Well, not this one, the previous gen is. In a good way, not in an eco way. This is meant just for fun entertainment. It's good for 315 horsepower, 310 torque. And yes, there's a limited slip and a six-speed manual pair behind it. That's the best part. Cooling capacity, that's a big deal. Check out the radiator. This is a bigger radiator than the old one. Intercooler's in front of it. I find it interesting that the cooling fan is on one side and this side's completely exposed. I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm sure it's there for a reason. You've got your wastegate controller here, actuator, that's gonna open and close your wastegate right there. That's really cool. And then um, also even thermal capacity on the battery itself to keep it safe. So the previous gen had some track cooling problems. That is just not a problem anymore. We've been ripping this thing all weekend, zero issues. Let's check out the interior. Alrighty, into the business class section. Brian, look, at, look down here. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Red carpets. Yes, this is awesome. Red seat belts in the back. You Red don't have stitching. a center. You don't, Red stitching. You don't have a, red, a center armrest, but you oh. do have cup holders. I gave you that. You don't have rear AC, but that's okay. You're going to be going so fast you won't care. Um, so they fix the coolant in the car, but not the rear occupants. Um, this is right here. These are called, um, oh, crap handles. That's yes. what these are. It's yes. not really for the, that's not for the front guy. That's for the back guy. You're like, so you do well, like in that. theory, it's for seat belts, but let's be real. No, no, it's, it's for this. So, and then you got, oh, grab handles. Uh, oh, grab handles. Oh, grab handles. I couldn't say the other words. How's, head, so. how's headroom? Headroom, Brian, really good. Why don't you get back here? Oh, boy. I think you're going to be surprised. I hope I am. Don't break my heart, Honda. Mm, it's no. about like the Accord. About like the Accord. Okay. All right. Front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up to the part that matters. Let's get prepared. Hang on, hang on. Almost ready. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Are those, wait, are those red tinted? They match the, yes, these are Type R sunglasses. So, oh, okay. red seats in the front, red carpet still. Everything's red. I love red on the the Honda logo on the steering wheel. This is awesome. Brian talked about he's a wide taco in another car, but yeah, it's a little, very, well, it's a hugger. Very supportive. Yeah, is what well, it is. It very is. supportive. That's true. And we'll get to the ride and drive here in a minute, but also red seat belts up front. That's more horsepower. R mode. Let's, uh, let's start this sucker up and let's let people see what's going on here the start button and you'll see there's a really cool um, shift light up here kind of hard to see because I'm not doing any shifting um, cool gauges it's the typical Honda gauges but you get R mode and you can it changes the actual layout so you get the tack. horizontal yeah. tack pretty cool and then you get over here and this is maybe the cooler part and run um, you get all these different temps they rarely they really care about cooling in this car so you got engine temp you got oil temp if you can see any of this. We'll show some B-roll later. Um, and then oil, and then you got diff temp, and we also get- Trans temp. We, trans temp, yeah. Yep, yep. There's so many different temperature gauges. They're gonna make sure that that works. Also, there's a data log, so you can actually go on the track and it'll record your data. You don't have to use a special app. It's right. all right it's all here. here. You don't have to do anything separate. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, this is the chicken cage. Chicken so wire. as you're transporting your chickens, they won't get into your HVAC <laughs> vents. That's what that's for. <laughs> okay. um, with that, Brian, let's get on the road and let's hit it. That's all that matters. All, All right. right, look, I need to scrub this thing real quick because... Scrub it. Not much, just to get the tires cleaned off, a little bit of heat in them. <laughs> R mode. R mode activated. First Hat gear. backwards. Ready? Hit it. Okay. Okay, Time shift wheels, light. Man. 60. 5.78. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look. Um, I had to bog it a little bit because it just had, we're on the street, first of all. Uh, right. These tires are not gone, but almost from this track weekend that this thing's been on. And uh, the other thing is that it's front wheel drive and I had to be nice. And it was wheel spin all through first, a lot through second. Sure. And that's real world testing. We know others on right. prep services have gotten like 4.9, the high for fours. Sure. For sure. Um, it, it's, look, it's a quick car. It's, yeah. it's, it doesn't need to apologize for anything. Totally. But that's your street That's your street launch and yeah. just, uh, oh man, I don't want to launch at a red light. That's what you're going to get. Exactly. Right. All right, Brian, Civic Type R, ride and drive. Let's talk about the track first. Okay. I got to drive it on the track a little bit yesterday. Um, they did a lot of work to make, they made the track width a little wider on this than yes. the previous year. Yes. They've also did a lot to make sure that you don't have any torque, um, uh, 
torque steer? steer? Yes. No torque steer? Yeah, the limit slip is very good. In that. They have a lighter flywheel on this clutch. They've beefed yeah. up the transmission a little bit. Cooling, 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 cooling. Right. You put on those gauges. It never got once got close to over overheating and anything. Right. Um, it rotated well around corners for a front wheel drive. Lift up oversteer was prominent with this. Yes. In fact, when I went out with cold tires, I was having yes. trouble putting power down because it was rotating so much, but it was playful. I like that. Yes. That was good. You want to show the people the scout real quick? Oh, hey, look. Guys, here's the uh, the issue with filming in Texas. Sometimes you get cattle out for no reason. Anyways, yeah. okay. back to it. Anyways, back to it. It was really great on track. It was a lot of fun. Um, we got to drive this back to back with the GR Corolla. Oh, yes, we did. Um, Watch that video if you haven't seen it. Yep. Um, in comparison, I will just say that the GR Corolla was more balanced. The all-wheel drive was very helpful. Yeah, they just put it down, and that and that's all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive. There's not, not a lot much you can do about that. that. Yeah. That being said, the front-wheel drive for a front-wheel drive car, this is one of the best, or better handling front-wheel drive cars I've ever driven. Yeah. So I, I agree. It does have some competitors out there. I'm not saying there's. It's the only one to get. But. Well, I'm actually torn on this because I think the Elantra M we drove last year, granted, it was a different. It was a year ago in a different track. I think it put the power down a little better on that track on that day. Now, it's not a good, I can't tell you if they're the same because we didn't have them the same. They, Honda didn't show up to this event, but it just seemed to put it down better. And part of the problem here is that these tires were cold again on the lap I went on, so it's hard to really judge it. Yeah. So I will say you get some cool turbo blow off sounds. Yes, kind of fun, um, but you don't get enough exhaust sounds. Okay, my other take back was, where are the pops and crackles? Right. There's no pops and crackles. Exactly. And we listened to it go by on track, and some other people were commenting as well, like, where's the sound? Right. But you do hear the turbo. You yeah. heard that go going by, and that was cool. All right, talk me through the drive modes and the way it rides. Okay, so we are in comfort right now, which is like, hey, I'm going to work. I don't want to spend my coffee. It's actually really good. Even yeah. the 19s. Then you've got Sport, which is like, okay, a lot of twisted road, but there's still maybe a few potholes. Yeah. And then there's R, which is, did you need your spine after you're done with this? <laughs> That's exactly right. Complete psycho. <laughs> we're driving mode. through a smooth parking lot. We're like, whoa, <laughs> take it out of R though. Yeah, exactly. So, and now granted, the Hyundai stuff does that too. Yeah. So the M mode part is almost the same, but on track, R mode works. Yeah, it's you don't flat. have any complaints about R mode no. on the track. This thing handles really flat. Um, one more thing, shifter. Mm. It's good. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love that it's got a metal shift knob. Yep. Um, even though you're probably gonna burn your hand on a, you know. Texas hot day. Texas hot, hot days. Yep. But I do like it. And um, the throws are good. You can rush the transmission. If you really go to money, fast and furious style, money shift it, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna not be totally happy with you, but same goes for the Corolla. Sure. So Nobody should be money shifting on cars anyways, I'm just saying. No, that, you just gotta be be sensible. Because cars only have, this only has a six speed, not a 10 speed, like or a 50 speed. <laughs> oh, like fast and furious style? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all reality, it, it's totally fine. Just just find your edge and pull it back a little bit, it's perfect. I will talk about, I wanna talk about another Civic Focus thing. So okay. this is a Civic underneath, mm -hmm. which is a lot of good, okay? A ton of good. Layout's great, it's roomy. Cal's low visibility uh, is some yeah. of the best in the class, for all, sure. Oh, that's wonderful. Front row headroom is good, and I fit in this, and the, and again, the footprint of this thing is perfect. It is. That being said, mm. there's a little road noise. A lot of road noise. Not a little, a lot of road noise. A lot of road noise. The thing is noisy. In fact, we thought maybe it was a mode setting, and it wasn't. No. no. But yeah, it, that's a Honda thing, though. It, but and we live in, a, in an area that has a lot of those coarse, like, farm and market roads, and it is just almost unlivable. It's really annoying because you, and it's not the only brand that does that, but Honda in particular has an octave that seems tinny to your ear. And you're kind of like, oh gosh, turn it off. And this, this does that too. But that's the price of having low profile tires too. Okay, last thing I have for you, Brian, I want to point out something. There is, well, I won't let you do it because you're driving. It doesn't want okay. to pay, pay. But there is an auto page on here, an auto score. Oh. And it keeps track of like, so if you're on a track, it's, it gives you, it basically scores you in deceleration, acceleration, and like corners. Here's my fear with this car. Uh-oh. Because uh -oh. if I owned it, I'd be putting that on. On your, on your on way little daily loops. <laughs> and I would be trying to best my score from the previous day every day. And I could see that self. I could see that being pretty dangerous. That might be but fun. But also though. freaking awesome. Yeah. Tons of wheel spin. I think that's about it, don't you? That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Let us know if you have a tie bar and what you think of it. See you next time. See ya. Hope you can hear us over the noise. <laughs>